tune called The Country Waltz. It's probably one of the most played waltzes in Canada. Uh, every single jam session you're going to hear this tune. So it's a good one to know. I'm not sure where it comes from. It's one of those tunes that I've always known. I believe I first heard it played by Don Messer uh, on an old 8-track way back when. And uh, it's a great dance tune. And, and when I play, I'm all about playing for dancers. And I was told a long time ago to... Uh, pick out the best couple on the floor and play to them. So uh, my waltzes tend to have a bit of a bounce to them because those dancers always did this little bouncy thing when they would dance and uh, just makes it easier to play. So uh, just starting off, we're starting off with a couple of pickup notes and then a little D arpeggio. So we are in the key of D major on this one. And the first little bit goes like this. Okay, and just talking a little bit about the bowing, um, I have a few bowing tips in a, in a waltz bowing tutorial that you can watch uh, on this website, but uh, this is the first of those. It's a down, up, up pattern, and it happens a lot in old time waltzes. Uh, if you have three quarter notes in a bar, the first one down, the next two up. So we just did that. We went and then down, up, up. And that's as opposed to a slur, we don't want it sounding smooth. So a slur would be like this. That's not what we want there. So we want the down, up, up. So one more time. Okay, then moving on, we're gonna continue on a downward scale and we're gonna slur the next three notes on an up bow and do another arpeggio. So it's gonna be like this. So somebody always told me fiddle tunes were made up of scales and arpeggios. This is a perfect example of that. That's all we've done so far. So just covering what we've started with, the two up bows for the pickup notes. Uh, the next part is another little scale going up. Yeah, and then the next part goes... So kind of like a question and answer. To me, that's what that sounds like. And now we have a lot of eighth notes coming up in a row. And with old time waltzes in the style that I play, we always talk about danceability. And uh, playing for dances is what we do, uh, what, what I do a lot of. So. I'm always trying to make it more danceable, make you want to tap your foot. So starting off, I'll start with the A part and then I'll maybe just sort of stop and, and explain some things that I've done and we'll take it from there. So just starting off. So right there, I'm just starting and droning with the uh, open A over the D notes and then doing that fourth on the D with the open A so that knowing that Four on D is an A, it's the same note as your open A, and maybe doing a little bit of a slide into there to make it sound a little bit grittier. So I'll do that one more time. Okay, and that's just simply, again, playing the open A with it. And then taking my pinky, so it's very subtle and sliding into that, that A note. And I'm not starting very low. I'm not doing a big slide, it's very small. And you can maybe continue with the drone of the A. Maybe take that from the beginning and I'll stop again when I come up with something else that I'm doing that's different. note there leading into the G 